Oh, my, this path is in terrible condition. An old wooden stick. This path is full of deep cracks. I just hope no one expects me to stand around swinging my hips for hours on end. No matter how cute this monkey is, I am not going to stick my hand in there. Hmm, an old car tire. I cannot reach the tire. A small plastic ball. I can't reach it. A can of peanuts. Oh, I cannot reach it. I need to aim well. Executed precisely and with style, like everything I do. I am trying hard to come up with an action that would make sense here, and beating up the monkey definitely makes no sense at all. I need to aim well. Executed precisely and... I just hope no one expects me to stand around swinging my hips for hours on end.
There's one of the blue stones I need to find. Guarded by a lovely crocodile. Which leaves me with the not-so-irrelevant question, how on earth shall I get to it? I don't fancy a swim here. The water is too filthy. This little motorboat is tied up so well. Somebody really wanted to be on the safe side here. The engine works. That is good to know. But I'll switch it off for now. I don't fancy a swim here. Too many crocodiles around. A small noisemaker. It makes noise. This magnificent specimen appears to be a Nile crocodile. It marks its territory through underwater vibrations and turns into a merciless killer whenever it detects a new nearby. This must be one of the stones I am looking for. As an accomplished world savior, I know that because it is secured by a barbed wire fence and an ill-tempered crocodile. It would be just too easy otherwise. Hmm, looking at those teeth, I don't think that Snappy is really a good name for a crocodile. Molly would probably be more appropriate. Hello, my crocodile friend. Could you do me a favor and move as far away as possible from that blue stone? No? That's too bad. I don't think I can chase off the crocodile by tootling away on this. Perhaps it will really consider the teddy bear a possible prey. But if I just fling it in there, the croc won't be distracted enough to allow me to pick up that blue stone and get away in one piece. An empty box containing traces of peanuts. An empty box. Judging from all the insects on this tree, one could almost assume this is intended to be a bark beetle exhibit. The nest appears to be abandoned. Of course, I could climb up there. No problem, honestly. But I don't really care to right now. Nope. A male African elephant. Compared to an Asian elephant, its ears are much larger. Also, its forehead is receding and less convex, and its back is not rounded but sloped. Very informative. It never ceases to amaze me how such a powerful animal can appear so peaceful, almost cuddly. It's a bit too heavy to pick up. 
I don't think this beast will be terribly impressed by the noise this makes. I don't think this beast It's fine where it is. No matter how cute this monkey is, <coughs> it's a cool noise, but I had hope for a better reaction. Maybe I should try it out elsewhere. Interesting. This noisemaker seems to appeal to the ducks. Ducks. How nice. The ducks are already here. The ducks are already here. Here they come. <coughs> Nothing happened. 
I should try calling the ducks while I'm next to a body of water. Here they come. Ducks, how nice. Hello. Hello. That's such a cute monkey you've got in that enclosure. You can say that again. And so eager to learn. Eager to learn? Oh, yes. I'm in the process of teaching it a few tricks. Really? How do you do that? It's actually quite easy. As soon as I pick up the training stick, I've got the monkey's attention. And then it will mimic everything I do. Training stick? You hit that monkey? For heaven's sake, no. It's just a regular long branch. All I do is hold it in my hand, and then the monkey will react. No idea why, but it works. Could I please have one of those baguettes? To feed the ducks? Uh, yes, of course. They're here now. Sure, take one then. Have a nice day. Thanks, same to you. Hard as a rock. It would probably make a good melee weapon. A little soggy, but I think that's an improvement over rock hard. Apparently, a little milk is all it takes to turn a rock hard all-purpose weapon into a flabby food article. Well then, let's see whether I'm cut out to be an animal trainer. Hey, it's working. Maybe this way I can make the monkey jump through the hoop. Amazing, monkey see, monkey do. I need to aim well. I always knew I'd make a great role model someday. Okay, it's just a monkey throwing balls at cans, but it's not a bad start, even if I say so myself. A can of peanuts. No matter how cute this monkey is, ah, it is closely watching my every movement. can of peanuts. 
an empty box containing traces of peanuts. How odd that such a large animal is so crazy about tiny peanuts. Hey, little buddy, would you care for some peanuts? There, you're going to have to work for the rest of the peanuts. The elephant does all the work for peanuts and ends up with none while I just hang around and I am rewarded with a way into the crocodile enclosure. Life can be so unfair. How odd that such a large animal is so crazy about tiny peanuts. This illustrates why, in India, they use elephants to uproot trees. I'm not setting foot in this enclosure unless the crocodile is at a safe distance. Grumpy teddy bear versus crocodile. What a duel. Good luck, Teddy. You'll need it. The crocodile is in the water now, but those things can move pretty fast. I am not setting foot in this enclosure unless this charming critter moves even further away. The crocodile seems to be mistaking the engine's vibrations for a rival. It is completely focused on defending its territory now. Good thing that stone was already loose, and now I'll get the heck out of here. I am actually quite happy that the croc is now focused on the vibrations caused by the boat's engine. A stone from the mosaic. It bears the picture of a black castle. I've got the perfect meal for you. It may not be a five-course dinner, but it's reasonably healthy, and it will fill your stomach. Yes, that actually looks quite appetizing. And it's easy on the few teeth I have left. Thank you so much. Your heart's in the right place. It was nothing. Glad I could help. Now that you've got something to eat, will you stay away from alcohol? It won't hurt to try it. I'll just take that bottle with me. Just talk to the zookeeper tomorrow. He's bound to have something left over for you. Usually the welfare of animals is more important. People aren't that much of a priority. But I'll give it a try.
I'll be leaving then. Cheap but high proof booze. This clockwork belongs to the clock that hangs on the outside wall of the metro station. The clock has served its purpose, and since it always stops after five minutes anyway, I can spare myself the effort. The switch for the fountain is also in this switch box. I think I will switch on the fountain. Mm, nothing happened. Not altogether surprising, since there's no water in the fountain. I had better switch that fountain off. It would be a shame about this fine vintage. Oh well, it's only cheap booze, but it would be a shame nonetheless. I don't want to get sloshed, at least not yet. the water would just trickle out through all those little holes. Whatever's in there, I'm not touching it. In fact, that option isn't even available, so don't get any funny ideas. The President of France, with a dashing debonair smile. MGs, hand grenades, submachine guns, and plenty of ammo. Looks like this isn't the most peaceful of places. If I take any weapons out, I may end up having to play one of those monotonous shoot 'em ups which would bore me to tears. Anyway, the lead designer told me that mini games are strictly forbidden here. Average looking, average age, average clothes. Pretty average, all in all. Things are pretty quiet here. Yes, I am hoping it stays that way. A lot of advice to citizens, telling them how to behave in the event of problems, accidents, emergencies, assaults, disasters. A drunk tank. It is empty, and there appears to be nothing special about it. The cell is locked. And there's no way of getting in without a key. A drunk tank. The cell is locked.
I don't want to get sloshed, at least not yet. The ducks are in the zoo, and that's a good place for them to be. 